Hello good people of YouTube, All About That is back with another video and today is the day we have the release of the Spring Summer 2020 lookbook. I'm excited to see this actually because as I've said to many of you when I've been doing the leaks video, um, there's been no items so far this season that I don't like. Slightly scary for the bank account, but really, really excited to see what's coming because, as I mentioned many times, I thought um, 2019 spring summer season was probably one of the worst I've ever seen. Um, but this one is looking very, very good. So, if you want to see more videos regarding Supreme, uh, the live purchase videos, previews, uh, unboxings, etc, etc, as well as other things like sneaker reviews, trainer reviews, all that kind of thing, then please hit the subscribe button, turn your little notification bell on, drop a like on the video and comment down below your thoughts on this season. Um, I'm super excited, I really am. We've got one minute before the release. So we have a marathon of a video coming right up. Should be around an hour. So as Tony D2 Wild says, sit back, get some snacks and watch this video. Right, here we go. So it's 11.30. Let's start refreshing. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Here we go, the preview. Right, oh, I'm excited. I am going to leave the accessories till last. That's what I'm gonna do. So let's go through all the sections starting with the jackets <clears throat> i love this i love it faux fur fa 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 faux fur varsity jacket uh, i love this colorway i think the yellow is great um the black is great. Would I wear it? Probably not, but it does not mean I don't like it. I think this is a great jacket. Um, then we have the, oh, artwork by Ramelise. Ramelise, is, I think I know this guy. Is he a graffiti artist? That name rings a bell, but I love this jacket. Wow. So it's a Gore-Tex Anorak. Oh, I'm loving it. This colour's great. Remel Z, Remel Z, Remel Z. I, I know this, I know this name. And then they've done a, they've done a plain one. But I love this, this, uh, this artwork on here. I'm going to have to go Google him because I'm pretty sure I know this guy. Oh, and they've got, it, they've got it in black as well. Oh, so far, loving it. Loving it. So they've got two plain ones and they've got two um, with this guy's artwork. I love this front one. Oh, very nice. Okay. Faux suede patchwork hooded jacket. Very nice wouldn't wear it personally but i like it so far nothing that is offending me too much then we have the whole punch denim jacket now we saw that in the the, the uh, teaser really like this blue colorway with the arch logo on the back arc arch arc arc logo on the back and then you've got it in black as well I like the blue and the brown. <clears throat> I'm not making any commitments as yet because we have loads to get through. Um, and then we have 
the uh, wide whale corduroy Harrington jacket. <gasps> corduroy jacket. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, like it. Classic logo. Purple, black. Oh, disappointed with the colourways. Mmm. As you know, guys, I love corduroy, but I'm slightly disappointed with the colourways they've chosen on this. That is a shame. And then you've got matching cargo pants. Hmm. Yeah. I'd, I'd, yeah, the orange is nice, but yeah, we should probably pass on that. Then we've got the Vanson. Ah, they're doing another Vanson jacket. This looks like something that should be in play school. <laughs> Yeah, what? No, no. This ain't it. Mm -mm. This is not it. No. Sorry. One first item that I'm not keen on. Don't like this shiny reversible puffer jacket. No, no, no. I'm not a fan of shiny jackets. Because it just reminds me of um, a, bi a bin bag. Yeah. It just reminds me of a bin bag, so no, 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 no. This ain't it, homies. Mm -mm. Okay, next on the list we have a Raglan court jacket. Yeah, I don't mind it. Mm, probably wouldn't spend. No, that's no. I like things with American flags on, but that's just a bit too much. Uh, yeah. No, that's definitely a pass from me on the old Raglan court jacket. Um, then we have a big letter track jacket. Now we saw was it Kada wearing this uh, in a photograph, the, um, the pro little dude skater. I don't mind it. It's okay. It's not something I would spend money on though. Ah, now we have the new era uh, MLB Varsity jacket. Oh, I love this. I love it. Oh my god. Yes. The black, the orange, and the black. Oh no, that's navy. Ah, it's navy. Okay. Not keen on the black because they've just basically blacked out all the patches. So I would probably, if I was going to get it, I'd probably go for the navy. I like it. A lot. Yes, it's going to probably be a, bit, be a pretty penny, but I do like it. The navy is the colourway that I would get. Just need to know the price and then we shall see. Um, and then we have the panel track jacket. You've got your Gucci colourway. This is going to sell out instantly. You just know it. Um, I like it, uh, I like this colourway as well, and I like that colourway, and you know that first one will instantly go. And then you've got matching pants with it, which is always nice. Yeah, I do, I do quite like that. Um, then we have uh, another Vanson jacket, now this is a little bit more like it, yes. Uh, this is not bad. Would I wear it? Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. 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 I quite like the colourways they've chosen. The green is nice. The black is nice. I'd probably go for the green or the black if I was going to go for it. Um, oh, I like this. Grid taping velour jacket. Now, I think we saw the pants to this in the leak yeah it's nice i like that script logo which i think is the same as this i like it a lot the red and white is great and yeah there we are the matching pants it would be a bit weird to wear them together i have to say quite like the blue pants there actually um but yeah nice like it and then we've got uh, this Supreme Shot Fringe Suede Coat. Disgusting. Skip, 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 skip. Anything with fringes on. Blech. Don't like it at all. Okay, track 
uh, half zip pullover. It's okay. It's all right. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's all it is. It's okay. It's okay. And they have the pants as well to go with it. Um. Then we have the ripstop utility jacket. I like this. I like this a lot. Very nice. I like that camo. I think the camo, yeah, is one that I'm, maybe, maybe. I do like that a lot. Hmm. And then we've got the velvet, oh my God, chore jacket. That is horrible. Ugh. I, I'm really not a fan of animal print. I'm just not. Love animals, but I'm just not a fan of animal print at all. Um, mm, no. Uh, velvet chore jacket is a very much a pass. Then we've got a quilted Cordura lined jacket. It's all right, again, but you've got that shiny bin bag material. No. Um, then we've got City Lights Puffy. Now, if you are thinking, oh, Nat, you're really rushing through it, obviously, I don't want to make this video three hours long. So, I am loosely going over things. I will probably do a video that will be um, items that I particularly like and really, really want. That will probably come next, a video like that. What is on my wanted list, sort of thing. Um, okay, so City Lights Puffy Jacket, it's okay, don't mind it, that's all I can say. Comes in purple and, uh, and then black as well. Then we've got a digital logo track jacket, not horrible, ridiculous, awful, terrible. And you've got some terrible pants to go with it, yuck. Um, Waves Work Jacket. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I quite like this. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, I do like this, actually. I like this colourway, actually. Hmm. Actually, actually. Can I say actually anymore? Those two are nice. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. Oh, the pants, however, no. All over print on pants. I don't know what it is about that. Just don't like it. Military trench coat. I uh, love the paisley. That is nice. And I can just see a few people pulling this off. Absolutely. Uh, it comes in a couple of colour, three colourways. Oh, and you've got a pin there, guys. You have a pin. A box logo pin. Ah. That, for pin collectors out there, is one to try and get. If you haven't got any box logo pins, you had a chance last season with the Russian type hat and you got another chance this season. Um, okay, drama mask fleece jacket. Um, not, my, not my bag, not my bag at all. Woven hooded jacket, not my bag at all. Yeah, passing on those. Then we have Supreme Team 2020 Puffy Jacket. <sighs> no, that looks like something from a fake seller in China to me. Mm, no, don't like it. Comes in three, four colorways. Good grief, no, terrible. Um, then we've got the world famous Supreme Team Coaches Jacket. <sighs> Again. Just no, no. Comes in five different colourways, bloody hell. Twill varsity jacket. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a bit shit. Wool suit, not even going to go over it because you, ugh, I hate it when they do suits. Just don't know, just don't like it. Um, checks embroidered denim jacket. Okay, so it, that's going to be expensive. If that is all embroidered, yes, it is. That is super expensive. Don't mind it at all. It's all right, but expect to pay a pretty penny for that if you are wanting it. And it, you have matching pants as well. 
Then we've got a canvas hooded work jacket. Now this would be nice if they had chosen different fonts. Yeah, I like this. I like this colorway, but the fonts are shit. What is that? Oh my God. Okay, so it looks like you've got grass all over that. <laughs> so weird, why the fuck is that? Um, the black is all right, but the, yeah, they've spoiled that with the font. The font is awful. If they'd have used a script or if they'd have used the original um, Futura font, that would have been better. Uh, but yeah, they've messed up on that. Okay, right, so we've got the jackets. Let's check the shirts. Um, I'm going to whiz through the shirts very, very quickly because obviously I don't really buy any shirts. Um, <clears throat> This looks something from Play School again. They're going for the Play School look. I like the Paisley Grid shirt. That will look nice on some folk. I think that some folk could pull that off. Snakeskin, disgusting. Can't stand snakeskin. Printed plaid shirt. Always like their printed plaid shirts. I think they do a great job with them. I just wish we got the smalls because I probably would wear... I do have a couple of plaid shirts in my uh, wardrobe. I have a Lee shirt. And every now and again I do wear them, Oxford shirts, just a waste of time, what the hell. Um, ah, Daniel Johnston, so he is coming back, so obviously he passed away last year, I think it was last year, and they are doing some work of his. This is alright actually, I actually quite like this, um, and I think this will sell pretty quick. Um, so you've got a couple of colourways in the John Daniel Johnston. Woven toggle shirt, disgusting. Uh, checkered logos denim shirt, horrible. Oh God, yeah. Logo plaid shirt, yucky. The shirts often are disappointing and then they do the rayon shirts and this is gonna sell like super fast. Super fast, honestly, yeah. This is going to fly. Daniel Johnston one. Um, then we've got the mosaic silk shirt. Has the sun gone in? Wait a sec. Oh, sun has gone in. Okay. Um, mosaic shirt. Yeah, whatever. Flags rayon shirt. Uh, the the coloured one might go. Well, but that black and white one, I don't know. Just, yeah, whatever. Lace, short sleeve shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Che Guevara, this is gonna fly. The rayon shirts always seem to be very popular and this will go quick. Comes in black and white and color. Then we have the bowling zip up. Horrible. City lights, horrible. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. And the ARC logo, yeah, that, that will go quite quick, I think, because of that. Um, then we've got the embroidered short sleeve shirt, yuck. Silk shirt, work shirt, yuck. This is going to fly. The floral rayon shirt, yeah, that is going to fly. And I would wear that. I like that. But we don't get smalls. Invert denim short sleeve shirt, yuck. Satin pyjama set, oh my god. <laughs> okay, and that is that. Um, then we have the tops and sweaters, let's see. Uh, New York looks pretty tacky. Oh look, I've got my email. Um, is that Hong Kong Fooey? Is that Hong Kong No, it's not. I don't think so. But I like it. It's good. That is cool. Uh, Star zip up sweater, polo, me. Not my cup of tea. Then you've got the big spell out uh, on the back logo sweater. The red will fly. Um, so you've got that in what, five different colours? Um, then we've got the brushed polka dot cardigan. That could be one of those sleeper, crazy, possibly go for tons of money kind of things. Um, you've got the uh, French Supreme Paris thingy-majig sweatshirt. 
quality. Sweater, mm, all right. Chest stripe sweater. These are all a bit meh yeah, for me. I'm I, very rarely do I buy a sweater of Supremes. Then you've got a polo sweatshirt. Is it a sweatshirt? What is it? Just a polo. Oh, is it cotton sewn stuff? Right, okay. Patch. You got a patchwork pocket tee. Mm, is what it is. Patchwork knit zip up polo. If this is all cut and sewn together, or if I don't know, it might be interesting to see that. Then you've got the Terry uh, short sleeve zip up. It's alright. And then you've got just another generic shirt thing. Um, Old English, like the Old English spell out. Um, not a bad pattern, it's okay. Then you've got your play school pattern again. They're liking the play school patterns this season. <laughs> um, then you've got the studded long sleeve. Not my cup of tea, don't like it when they do studded. This, ah, on a waffle. I like this. On the, So you've got the same colourways as that jacket. It's quite nice, that. Vertical stripe polo is me. Then you've got same old, same old on a long sleeve. Dazzle mesh, short sleeve top, yeah, not my thing. Cotton mesh, yeah. Then you've got an animal basketball jersey, nope, thank you. Um, a Terry, short sleeve top, yeah, Wah. then another tiny little thing on a short sleeve top, yeah. Contrast stitch pocket tee, yeah. Yeah, disappointing. Oh, we haven't finished yet. Okay, so we've got the over dyed, yeah, pocket tee, blah blah. Um, racing soccer jersey, mm, business hockey jersey. No, 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 no. Oh, god. Sevens rugby. Oh, god. Terrible. What the hell? Knit stripe. What is all this shit? Oh, they're doing a Castelli collaboration again. Ah, this looks like the inside of a underground train. Quite like that. If I cycled, I like that. Um, glitter football top, no thank you very much. Grid soccer jersey, no thank you. Dog raglan, long sleeve top, no, don't like it. Uh, what is that? Hourglass, raglan, long sleeve, no. God. Mesh, hooded, long sleeve, ba baseball jersey, no. I'm always interested to see what kind of baseball jerseys they do because I so badly regret not getting that corduroy one a couple of seasons ago. Really, really wanted that and it goes for stupid money now. Um, Supreme basketball jersey, yeah, no, thank you. And then we've got a rhinestone baseball jersey, no, no. Ringer t-shirt, no. These are awful. Arc applique short sleeve top, no. The red's okay, but mm, no. Uh, then you've got a Terry, Henley, no, star logo, no, side logo, no, this is all awful, velour tank top, no, no, these are crap, um, okay, they have a lot in this section, clearly, uh, global standard long sleeve top, Boring, awful, terrible, spell out, rubbish. Nothing else like it in the world, supreme. Hmm, no, not my cup of tea. Again, it's like that play school thing. <laughs> it's bizarre. Then we have um, university sort of sleeve top, embroidered patterns. It's okay. That's as far as I'll go. Patchwork, oh, is that all cut and sewn? If that's all cut and sewn, that is great. If that's printed, that's rubbish. But I like the fact that it could be cut and sewn. I like it. 
pink and green if it is i like that a lot mm. um then we have the nuva nuva york short sleeve top yeah that's horrible mm, don't mind that that's not bad headline short sleeve top quite like it um script top top of the world supreme can't man do yeah that's shit <sighs> some random stuff in the tops and sweaters real randoms blocked uh t-shirt yeah easy that is what <laughs> what um signature yeah overdyed yeah small box logo t that's nice i love my small box and i like this pattern interesting oh i like that one as well oh yeah i like those like it like it and then you've got the small box long sleeve fair enough you can't beat a small box logo t-shirt um is that it oh yeah we've got the pocket tees but we see them every year okay pretty disappointing section but there's tons in it as well sweatshirts i like this section okay so we have we wanted to be known as supreme we have seen this i quite like it it has been slated however but i do quite like it and if i was going to go for a colorway it would probably be red i do quite like it then we have the Milan hooded sweatshirt. Yeah, I've seen Kada wear this, not a fan personally. Miles Davis hooded sweatshirt. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God. This is a beauty. What's on the back? I love that. I love that. And that, I think is gonna fly. And that, I think is gonna be yeah a big hitter the colored one is oh that's a beauty mmm I like it a lot yep then we've got the kanji logo crew neck yeah it's not bad not bad not bad not bad at all nice colorways then we have the radial crew neck yeah no not my not my thing warm-up hooded sweatshirt nah seen it before stars crew neck no 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 don't like it color block zip up hooded sweatshirt now that would have been nice if it wasn't a zip sweatshirt and there was more colorways um then you've got uh, xxl supreme no not my thing then we've got the tonal webbing hooded sweatshirt. Nah, no, don't like it. Crossover, seen that all before. Oh, is my battery going to die on my computer? Please don't do that to me. Um, then we have the gems hooded sweatshirt. No, I don't like. Why did they do that? With I can't stand rhinestoney shit. Animal print stones. No, that is my definite no nos. This is awful. No, what the hell? Good grief. No, digital logo. That digital logo font is terrible. No, awful. Cut out logo crew neck. Oh, is this a, d a different type of a different type of box logo? I like it. That is pretty good. I like that. That is cool, very nice. A uh, small box hooded sweatshirt. That is most probably going to be one that I pick up because I always, always, some reason miss out for some reason or another, and I need to get this. I, I don't know what colorway as yet, but yes, I love my small box logos. So where are we up to? Right then, we have. Um, cut out letters yeah no it's not it ah here we go the bling hooded sweatshirt this was on the leak this is what you could see um under the jacket it's not my cup of tea particularly 
Metallic rib, no. No. Naomi Campbell. Cotton fleece, original photography by Pamela Hansen and ah, original artwork by Mark Gonzalez. Interesting. Nice. Not sure I feel not sure how I feel about wearing a a top with uh name of Campbell on it, however, but I like it. So nice. Mary hooded sweatshirt, no, don't do religion. No, absolutely not. Animals hooded sweatshirt, no. Artwork by Keegan Dakar. Interesting. But no, not for me. Eyelet oh my god. They've stuck a load of eyelets over a sweatshirt. Mmm. Okay, definitely not for me. Ramley Rammel Z. Rammel Z, how do you pronounce it? This is oh I love it. Love it. Oh my god, that sweatshirt is so nice. That is ace. Yeah, loving it. Love it a lot. Uh reflective cut out hooded sweatshirt no no dragon over dyed hooded sweatshirt no 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 um franklin hooded sweatshirt 100 dollar bill woven patch on embroidered logo that will go fast um it's quite nice don't mind it at all would i wear it don't know not sure Will famous zip up hooded sweatshirt. Uh, yeah, it's okay, but it's on a zip up. If that had been on a pullover, yeah, possibly. Yeah, I like, I like that colorway, but it's on a zip up. No, no. Oh, they're doing a motion logo hooded sweatshirt. This is going to fly, fly, fly. They've brought it back. The motion logo hooded sweatshirt yep that is gonna fly guys um then we've got embryo <laughs> embryo hooded sweatshirt <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> oh this is funny yeah not my thing but yeah if you want that you can get it in numerous colors underlying crew neck um i quite like that pink actually Hmm, quite like that pink. It's not embroidered though. If that was embroidered, yeah, quite like that. The pink is nice. Then we've got an S logo. I love the S logo. I like that pink. That might be something I might go for. Hmm, possibly. And then we have cotton fleece with embroidered logo on the hood. Over dyed. That's okay. Yeah, I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Uh, Restless Youth hooded sweatshirt. Yeah, that has this been done before? I'm getting a deja vu. Possibly. Okay, where are we now? So that is it for the sweatshirts. Not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Pants. Okay, we have the Gore-Tex waterproof um shenanigans so they've got the matching ones to go with the jackets and then we've seen those the corduroy then we've seen those we've seen those track pants have we seen those yes we've seen those diddle -da -da, we've seen all these paisley grid have we seen these no we haven't so that's got an arc logo on them Pleated trouser, cargo pants, we've seen all this sort of thing before, work pants, uh, double knee painter pants, yeah, not a fan of painter pants to be honest. Miles Davis skate pant, those are great, but I'm not sure I could wear them. Yeah. Liberty floral, um, belted pant, yeah. Utility, yeah. Warm up pants. Nice. They're, I mean, they're all they're all fine. They're all fine. Nothing that I think I could buy is yet. The cut out letter sweatpants. They're gonna 
be extremely expensive as it's all cut out oh now we're talking now you'd have to wear a plain top with this but i do like it i have to say i do like that though that pattern is ace cold block sweatpants that might be something that i would buy possibly um then we've got the animal sweatpants we saw sean pablo wearing those the other day s logos oh i could you know i may well get a green pair with the pink top or something like that oh i don't know I do like the s logos I do like them metallic absolutely not uh checkered de denim overalls hmm not sure then we've got the wash gen uh, the regular jeans uh the rigid ones that we always see stone wash yeah we've, we always see those okay uh, and that is the pants okay not amazing shorts um we have the patchwork, they're quite nice. Mary, not for me. Oh, I mean, this is, I've never buy the shorts, so, um, personally, but, you know, none of them are particularly offensive. They're just, it's just not something that I really look at, to be honest. Um, yeah, Saint Supreme, okay so i am actually probably just gonna really skip over this because as i say they don't i don't really buy them <laughs> oh i love it so i used to cycle a lot and you know to to stop sort of chafing and stuff like that you do wear bib shorts that is hilarious they've done matching bib shorts to go with the cycling top amazing that is brilliant. T-shirts. Let's see what we've got. So, as we knew in the week, or over the weekend, should I say, we have the two-pack hologram tee. This is going to sell. Uh, he's got he's got the pants on, so you can see them there. The the waistband. It's a little bit disappointing. I think they could have done better with that, personally. Um, and then we have the bling tee. That's all right. Uh, then we're going back to school again with the paint logo tea. Oh, I can't stand it when they do religious stuff. No. This is nice. I just don't know whether I could wear Naomi Campbell on, on a t-shirt. It's a shame they didn't use someone like Aretha Franklin or something. Oh, now that would have been amazing. Um, but I do like the artwork. I actually, I do like that artwork. Um, oh, I like this. I quite like that. Yes, that is nice. So, the sacred, unique, long sleeve tee, like that. I might need a small somewhere, somehow. Uh, cherries, and she got a, a, um, a supreme ring on or something. Yeah, it's all right. Not, not bad. Uh, Black Cat Tea. Pretty cool. Supreme Masterpieces. Nah, not a fan of that. Mm, yeah, not really a fan of that. Yeah, hmm. Not my favourite. Honestly, T-shirt's a bit disappointing. I do, however, like this sacred, uh, unique long sleeve. And I'd like to see the colours in that. That would be quite cool to see. Um, but, mm, yeah. Hats. Let's see hats. Now, again, I'm probably going to skim through a lot of... Oh, they're doing a dad hat. They're doing a dad hat. Yes, a dad hat. I wish they did do more dad hats because that's the only sort of thing that... Is, it, is that dad hat as well? Could be, yeah. Um... And another one. Okay, they're listening to people. And another one. Oh my God. And another one. So they've changed it. 
They've changed it up a bit, haven't they? Ah, and another one. Maybe they, maybe their sales, uh, I don't know, have suffered because they don't really do that art. Oh, that's it. I am getting the corduroy. I am getting the corduroy dad hat. Definitely. Yes, that's the only sort of hat that I do think I'm okay with. Um, and yeah, 100%. So they've definitely they've changed it up. They are doing dad hats. Isn't that so funny? I just said that prior to the section and bang. Yeah, they've changed it up. They've, they've not got a lot of camp caps so far. In fact, they haven't got any camp caps so far. Bloody hell. That's insane. Wow. No camp caps as yet. Fanson collaboration. Oh, wowzers. That's mental. Oh my God. Where are the, they've got no camp caps. How strange, right, where are we at? Right there. Um, Kangol collaboration. Oh, I'm gonna just, yeah, I've just, clicked on that. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, there we are, camp cap. These aren't camp caps though. They've, they've bent the rim. They look more like dad caps. So they're calling them camp caps, but they're not. They've bent the rim. That is interesting. Okay. That is interesting. And then they've got the, I like this. I like the wide, wide whale corduroy. This is not a camp cap though. That's a camp cap because they've not bent the rim. How interesting, Supreme, I've changed up the style. Um, But you know, these are all, th that's a camp cap because it's got that straight bill. Ah, very interesting. Supreme, you're changing. Listening to the people. Right, um, there's tons of this stuff. I'm gonna have to go and get my charger for this computer because it's going to die. So, I'm going to just pause it here and then come back to you. One second. Okay, I'm back. All plugged in, so we're not gonna die. Um, okay, so just, you know, going back to this camp cap scenario, they've changed up the bill on it. Now, as I've said, I know a lot of people would love the, ca the caps more um, if they had a, a, you know, a bended bill. And I know, I do know people who have bought camp caps before and bent the bill. So, have they listened to people? So I'm a bit out of breath, just running up and down the stairs. Who knows, they may well have. So they've left some flat, but the, uh, they've bent others. So yeah, interesting. Um, okay, I don't know where I'm up to. Yeah, okay, so that's that. Um, right. I like the bucket hat type things. So they've done collaboration with Kangol. Interesting. Flags Booney. Cordura pocket bell hat. And the denim crusher, which matches the, the jacket. Oh, the waves crusher. That might be something for me, possibly. Oh, we've got the uh, corduroy crusher. Mmm, that might be something for me. <laughs> Nameplate crusher, no thanks. Contrast boonie. Mesh crusher. Jacquard linen crusher. Beanies. Splattered dye beanie. Mmm, quite like that. 
quite like that yellow. That yellow's nice. Hmm. New York beanie, no thank you. Uh, reserved beanie, no. Uh, absolutely not. Gem beanie. And the over dye beanies. Um, mm, I, I quite like that splatter one. Logo repeat beanie. No, no, no. Motion logo beanie. And that is embroidered. That is going to fly. Fly. Honestly, unbelievably fly. That will do. So that is the beanies. I do like that splatter for the personal. And a couple of crushes in there. And the... Uh, the corduroy cap which is in here somewhere bags here we go guys we'll get into the juicy bits now uh, backpack so looking at this backpack they've gone a little bit like the old days a little bit so we've got a mesh thingamajig there a little bit like the old days not not fully, but mm, a little. It's okay. It's okay. Not entirely sure about the colour of them. I would have preferred that camo if it had been green, but I know they've done that before so many times. The big duffel. So, oh no, 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 that's terrible. So the whole thing is see-through. No. Don't like that at all. <clears throat> no. I like this. I like it. I do. Please don't tell me that it's see-through inside. It's not, is it? Oh, good. I like that. I do like it. I just would have preferred it green. The black is nice. Not a fan of that yellow. Mmm, the red's nice, the blue is nice, I have to think on that, depending on the price as well. Thankfully, the, the main pocket is not see-through because that duffel, it's not it guys. Do you want people to see your stuff inside your bag? No, no you don't. And then we've got the small shoulder. It's all right. I, I definitely prefer last year's shoulder, which I got. Um, not a massive fan of it. Utility pouch that is see-through is not the one. No, absolutely not. Then we've got the Play School <laughs> Supreme Vanson leather letters bag. Yeah. No. Again. Oh. <laughs> now we're talking oh I like this I like this a lot oh my god this artwork I love this artwork I love it oh raffia tote that's quite nice red and pink and black woven striped waist bag don't like that at all Coin pouch, no, no, no. This messenger bag, so it's collaboration with D Martini, but I like that. I do like that waist bag. And I'd say it would be between the blue camo and the red colorway if I was to get it. Okay, guys, we are into the accessories. Oh my god! <laughs> Shit, man. I want it. That is amazing. Oh my god, it's a bloody workstation. This is absolute fire. How good would this be in my cabin, guys? The cabin that I'm building. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my God, I want it. I want that. <laughs> I'm never ever gonna get my hands on this, but I would love it. I would love it. 
Honestly, don't think I'll ever get my hands on this, but I really would love it as I missed out on the... Oh, it's got the same geometry. That's an, um, it's a construction. It does look very similar to the one they brought out in 98. It really does. Very old school. I knew they were bringing this out. Now I've seen it. <sighs> Sorry, I've just got to go back to that. I want it so bad. It's rough, proper old school, this. Oh, man. I would love I would love this in my collection, I really would. As I'm not paying 40 grand for the 1998 one. Anyway, they're bringing out an Oreo. Okay. Crazy. And how much are Oreos gonna go for? <laughs> Spraying, they are so fucking funny. Um, so there, they are bringing out their 14 karat gold pendant and it's got Supreme all over it. Well, not all over it, it's got Supreme. Uh, it's alright, it's not bad, but I wish they'd do silver. Honestly, I really do. I wish they'd do two options, a gold and a silver, because I don't wear gold. Oh, no. No, no, no. They're bringing out a turntable. It would never replace my Technics, but Newmark, it's okay Newmark, it's not amazing. It's nowhere near as good as Technics. If they've done a Supreme Technics, fucking hell, that would have been insane. That is amazing though. It's making me want a Newmark. Good grief. Um, never. They're collaborating with Leica. These guys are gonna be so expensive. The Leica binoculars, they're gonna be probably uh, over a grand, I would say. A grand over a grand. I can't believe it. They're doing Leica binoculars. Shit. Because at the moment I am actually saving for a Leica uh, camera. Because as many of you know, I do actually love my photography. Um, and I am saving for like a camera. Oh, fucking hell, these are gonna be so expensive. So expensive. But wow, what a collaboration. Supreme, honestly. Supreme, people say Supreme is dead. Supreme is so not dead. Supreme is the most alive it's ever been. They're collaborating with Leica, for God's sake. Yeah, that's insanity. Okay, so we have, uh, oh wow, they're bringing out um, Insta film for your Fuji uh, Insta instant camera. So obviously it's like Polaroid, but it's it's a Insta Fuji film version of a Polaroid camera. So you can actually brand your pictures with Supreme. That is fantastic. Love it. This is disgusting. Swarovski crystal studded patterned Italian belt. Probably going to be worth a fortune, but good grief, disgusting. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a no from me. And that is going to be super expensive as well. Oh my God, a lawn chair. <laughs> Oh, it's hilarious. Fucking hell. <laughs> Love it. Foldable lawn chair. Fantastic. Then we have a, a shrape blanket. Hand woven in Mexico. Not my thing, but oh my God. So we knew they were gonna bring out a basketball. I did actually put this out on another video. And here it is, guys. It is the Spalding Washington Basketball. I do like that black and white one. Uh, yeah, this this is gonna sell fast. All so far, all these accessories are gonna sell out. In my opinion, they will sell out. The the main thing at the moment with Supreme is their accessories are just insane. They really have stepped up in in the past sort of seven eight years the accessories have just gone up and up and up 
Ziploc bags, these are brilliant. Of course, I'm gonna get some because you can't beat a Ziploc bag. Camera accessories, great. In fact, funnily enough, I have literally just organized all my um, cables and all my photography stuff and put them in the Pelican case as well as some little Ziploc bags. I need these in my life. Um, so yeah, you know, I'll be getting some of those. Um, and then, <laughs> speed up goggles. <laughs> Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh my God. A rolling catcher's chest protector. If you have the catcher's mask, I did have, I did sell it. You, you're gonna need this in your life. Yes, you are. And you can just see Eric Whiteback's videos right now. Yeah. Then we have the cycling helmet. They've collaborated with Jiro for the cycling helmet. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I am liking this. They've collaborated with Leatherman. <gasps> this is something I will probably get. I do have a Leatherman. In fact, I have it here with me. This is actually one of the most expensive ones you can get. Um, I, when I used to do a lot of, um, what do you call it, conservation work, um, I lived by this thing. It is absolutely amazing. Um, am I gonna need a Supreme one? <laughs> you know it, you know it. And I will use it. I have said I'm only buying things that I use. That is it from now on, only things I use. And yes, I am going to buy that Leatherman. Um, the Mechanics Work Gloves, fantastic. Again, <gasps> this wave pattern, I love it. Ceramic bowl, yes, want it, absolutely. Amazing. Ashtray. Great, if I smoked, obviously I would have it, but I don't. Um, incense burner, fantastic. Woven straw mat. Why would I have a woven straw mat? I don't know, but it, I like it. I like it. Um, and then we've got the transparent lock. I really like this actually, and I am thinking about getting it. How, if it is any good, I don't know, because I would use it. Um, we'll see, but I, I do like it and it's something that I th thought about getting. <gasps> umbrella, if I didn't lose all my umbrellas, I would get this, but this is too expensive to lose, so I'm probably gonna pass on it because I just have this habit of losing umbrellas, so I don't bother with them anymore. I just don't bother. Then we have the Nalgene water bottle really like it most probably will get this actually because i don't actually have a water bottle i have one for hiking i've got my flask but i don't have a water bottle so i probably will end up getting this um then we've got the zippo glow in the dark oh very nice um oh never a supreme bird call That is insane. I love it. When would I use a bird call? Don't know, but I might start calling birds. However, I do have an app on my phone. I used to use it quite a lot when I was in conservation and it does tell you, you know, what bird is what. I am actually quite good with bird calls, but I don't know what you'd use it for but I love the look of it. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> so funny. Then we've got some mugs. Yep, yeah, stackable mugs. I will probably go for these because I never got the stackable cups. So yes, I will most probably go for these. We want, we, oh, the towel we wanted to be known as Supreme. <gasps> I think I'm gonna have to get one of those. Yeah, love it. The bling towel, probably not for me, but yeah. Then we've got the Hanes, Hanes, Hanes. 
tank tops. I thought that was a dress for a minute. I was thinking, yes, they're moving into women's underwear. Nope, they're not. Seen all that before. Uh, ballpark poncho. No, don't think I need a poncho. Beaded keychain. Tell me you got some fantastic pins, Supreme. Please. Waterproof lighter case keychain. Very nice to put your lighter. And then they've got a skeleton keychain. Not sure how I feel about that. Two pack hologram skateboard, you know that is going to sell out. Cherries and bling skateboard. Motion logo cruiser skateboard, that's gonna sell out. Distorted logo skateboard, I'd really like that actually. That is nice. That is a maybe. Um, Chrome logo skateboard, yeah, not a fan of that really. Pipe, skate key, they've done this before. And I was gonna buy this, I had a chance to buy it when it, it, about a couple of years after it released and I never did and I regretted it. But the only downside to them doing this, it devalues the older and original one. I don't know how I feel about them bringing back stuff. Some, sometimes I think it's good, sometimes I don't. This I'm not entirely sure about it and I, I won't be getting it because obviously I don't skate anymore. I used to skate back in the day but yeah, not sure how I feel about them bringing that back and I don't particularly like the way the colours changes they've done because this was raw, it was just purely raw uh, metal. Then they've obviously got their um, trucks and their wheels. Where are the pins? Please tell me they've got pins. Where's the pins, man? Oh, if they're not releasing any pins, I'll be so pissed off. Um, now, just to let you guys know, the shoes, these are gonna be restocked, 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 restocked all season. So, if you were thinking about buying them for resale, don't bother, because they're gonna be restocked all season. Um, and I'd love to know if they're going to do these uh, with Nike because I'd love a white pair because obviously they only start in a size 7 on Supreme so um, and that is it I am really pissed off where are the pins guys where are the pins so there are a good handful of let me just stop that. There are a good handful of items this season that you know I'm going to be going for. You know it. It would seem mainly in accessories. Maybe a couple of jackets, maybe a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. Um, but what I will be doing is a video um, maybe later on this week where I will tell you what is on my wanted list for supreme 2020 spring summer season honestly straight off the bat this is better than last spring summer no doubt i think though there are disappointing aspects the the uh, tops and sweaters very disappointing trousers pants a little bit disappointing um but of course the accessories they have just killed it killed it with their accessories once again they are becoming like an accessories brand. It's so bizarre. Obviously, there are some elements in the clothing that are fantastic. There are, as I've just said, some that are disappointing. But on the whole, I think it's a very good season. I am like that with the bag. I don't like the transparent duffel. I do, however, love that waist bag and I'm glad they didn't make the inside of that waist bag transparent. Just wish they'd done a green camo. Although I do like the blue, I do. The hats, as I said, I think they have listened to people and they've changed the shape of the camp cap. So they've done two. They've done that bended bill and they've done the, um, the straight bill as well. So that means I will most likely get that corduroy cap. 
So yeah, there are definitely a few that will be on the list and I will drop that video this week. I hope you enjoyed this mammoth marathon video. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all about that. We'll see you on the next one. Keep it real guys.